there, mathematicians. Let's keep talking about subtraction. Today, we're going to think about numbers and how we can break them apart into different groups. Let's look at an example problem. This says, Alex picks seven apples. Some apples are red and some are yellow. Alex wants to put the red apples in one basket and the yellow in the other. How many red apples and how many yellow apples can there be? Use counters to show the red and yellow apples and write the numbers to tell how many of each. Let's see. Okay, I know I have seven apples. All right, I know I have seven apples. I'm gonna use some red and yellow counters to show that. One, two, three, four. Oh, I need some yellow. Five, six, seven. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, but Alex wants to put the red apples in one basket and the yellow apples in another. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. We have four red apples. We have three yellow apples. We have seven apples in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this the only way we can do it? No, there's lots of combinations that could make seven. For example, I could do two red apples and five yellow. That makes seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or I could even do six red apples. And only one yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's lots of combinations that make seven. But can there be more than seven of one color? Could I have eight red? What do you think? Could I have more than seven red or more than seven yellow? Could I have 10 yellow? No, seven is the most. If I have more than seven in one basket, when I put them together, it won't make seven. It'll make too many. It has to equal seven. If you have some in one basket, what do you know about the ones in the other basket? You can say, I know. Yeah, I know that this number is gonna help me know how many are in this basket. If it has to be seven in all, the other basket is gonna be how many more I need to make seven. If I already have six in this basket, I know I need one more to make seven. Let's think about this a different way. We're gonna watch a video. Watch it with me. <laughs> What does the picture show? Seven apples. Are the apples taken apart or in one whole group? Think about that. We have seven apples. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are they split apart or are they in one whole group? You can say it out loud. That's right, they're all together. Now let's see what happens. They are in one whole group. Separate means to take apart, not to put together. When you take apart a number, you separate it into parts. What has happened in the picture? 
What happened? There. What happened in the picture? Yeah, it got separated. The apples got taken apart. How many parts are there? Yes, there are two parts. There are two groups. How many apples are in this part? That's right, there are two. One, two. How many apples are in this part? One, two, three, four, five. are dotted lines around some of the apples. The group of apples has been taken apart. How many parts are there? There are two parts. Are there still seven apples in all? Are there still seven apples in all? Yes! Even though they're separated, there's still seven all together. Yes, there are still seven apples in all. What does the... They wrote our answers. Two represent. What does the two mean? You can say the two is for... That's right. The two is for these two apples in this group. What is the five for? You can say the five is for. Yes, the five is for the five apples in that group. The two represents the group of two apples that are taken apart. What does the five represent? We already know. It represents the five apples. You're ahead of the video. Are you a super mathematician? Yes, you are. The five represents the group of five apples that are taken apart. So, seven apples can be taken apart into two parts of two and five. How else could you take apart the seven apples into two separate groups? Let's think about that. Is two and five the only way to make seven? No, there's lots of ways to make seven. What are some other ways? Look at these seven apples. What are some ways we can put them into two separate groups? You can say, Miss Minion, you can. Yeah, maybe I could do three apples in this group and four apples in that group, three and four make seven. What if I do one apple in this group and six apples in this group? Are there still seven in all? Yes, one and six still makes seven. There are lots of combinations to make seven. All right, now we're gonna do some on our whiteboards. You need to get out your whiteboard and your whiteboard marker. All right, let's think about this problem with the strawberries. It says, take apart 10. What are some ways we could take apart 10? I heard lots of responses coming through the air. Let's show you some. 
we could do three strawberries and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three and seven. Can you come up with another way on your whiteboard? I, you don't have to draw the strawberries, but you can if it helps you. What you do need to do is write the numbers and the word and. It's a sight word, so you should know how to spell it. What other ways can you come up with? Let me show you a few more. Pause the video if you're still working. Press play if you're ready. You could do one strawberry. And how many are in this group? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and nine. What's another way that we could solve it? We could do five strawberries. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Five and five make 10. Could I do this? Three strawberries. And three strawberries make 10. Did I hear you say no? Yeah, no, three and three is not 10. I forgot all these strawberries over here. That's no good, Miss Minion. But I could do three strawberries and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That does make 10. Homework, I'm gonna show you some fruits. Your job is going to be to look at the fruits and then think, how can you split those fruits into two groups? On your whiteboard, you should write two numbers and the word and. Here's an example. On this one, I drew the 10 strawberries. I didn't make them look like real strawberries. I just drew ovals. And then I wrote the numbers three and, you can write and, so that's a sight word, seven. Is three and seven the only answer? No. As we looked at, there's lots of answers. See if you can come up with more than one answer for each picture. Here is your math homework. Este es la tarea de matemáticas. Look at the picture problems. Write the numbers for the two groups you see. Don't forget the word and. Challenge, can you think of more than one way to separate the fruits into two groups? Parents, I do not yet expect a number sentence or equation. We will get there soon. Mira los problemas de imagen. Escribe los números de los dos grupos que ves. No olvides la palabra and. Reto, ¿Puedes pensar en más de una forma de separar las frutas en dos grupos? Padres, todavía no espero uno, una ecuación o oración numérica. Llegaremos ahí pronto. Try this one. Take a part seven. Your whiteboard should have two numbers and the word and. Don't forget to press pause while you do it. Let's do peaches. Take apart five peaches. Pause the video while you do this. Let's do cherries. Take apart four cherries. Pause the video while you do it. Now it's time for a challenge. Can you take apart these strawberries by making two groups that add up to six? 
There's lots of different ways you can do this. Can you come up with more than one way? You might want to draw the strawberries on your whiteboard to help you. Last challenge. What about these oranges? Break them into two groups. How many combinations can you come up with?